It's a workout. Hey guys, it's TJ Granny KLZ and I'm out here working on the farm a little bit, clearing some of the fence lines and uh, you know, there's uh, this place that we bought, it's just the fences aren't in good shape and there's brush that's grown up all along it, trees. And uh, so it's a slow process uh, going down the line, cutting out the stuff that I want out. Um, and it's nasty, janky work. Uh, but I love it. I love it. Um, but I had, it had me thinking, so some of you guys are doing, uh, base camp, the Bible study, our KOZ Bible study for men. And, um, thank you for buying it and thank you for supporting KOZ. And I hope that base camp is moving you forward in your relationship with Christ. Um, but I was, uh, the last two weeks I've missed my base camp. We do ours Thursday nights from 6.30 to 8.30, and I missed two weeks. And then this week, man, I just felt this like, oh, I don't got to go. You know, they could do it without me. They've been, uh, Keenan's leaning, leading, one of our guys is leading, and everything is just fine. It's really good, and, uh, and they don't need me. I'll just take the night off, and, you know, my eyes hurt, and, and, uh, and I'm just tired. And... Uh, what I realized was that how easy it is to miss what, uh, what God's doing in my life if I don't push in. Satan knows those little things. It's kind of like this stuff along this fence line. It slowly grows up in between the, the wire and the fence, and it slowly grows up into the branches of the good trees. And and slowly starts killing the stuff below it and gets thick and gnarly and uh and man that's how satan is with us when we don't stick to what we know makes us healthy stick to what we know brings us close to god and man i just i said jesus you just gotta you just gotta break this off of me and after a little while in prayer i just felt this overwhelming sense of peace and then i I went over to my guys and, and I walked into the room, hadn't been there in two weeks and got a little grief for not being there from the guys, uh, you know, because I was out of town working or, or uh, whatever I was doing. And, uh, but I felt the presence of God return on me. I felt straightened out. I felt normal. I felt like my fence line it, it, inside me had been cleared and, uh, so I just want to encourage you guys to, you know, when you get off base and you start crashing and burning, you start feeling bad, Satan's pounding on you, uh, think back, what, were, what was I doing when things were the best? What was I doing when things were going smooth? And, uh, and my guess is that you probably started cutting out some stuff. Maybe you were running late for church. Maybe you weren't going to church uh, at all. Maybe you're skipping some Sundays, maybe skipping your men's group, uh, maybe skipping your KOZ. But I just want to encourage you, brothers, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to walk with Jesus. It's a lot of work to do KOZ. It's a lot of work to just get up every day and be the man God's called us to be. But I want to encourage you to stay with it. Stay with it. And if you're, and if you're, uh, if you're feeling pulled away, if you're not feeling close, go back in brothers we we just you just need to rally back up get 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 back on your saddle and just ride into that uh into that you know that relationship with jesus that that just fills your cup and um so know that we love you and we're thinking about you and don't think that rick and i and the other koz guys around you aren't experiencing the same things that you are because we do we ride that same trail with you. We, we know when we go off the trail, we gotta come back on and get on the right trail. So don't do it alone. Find a good, close buddy that you can hang with and that can uh, y'all can speak into each other's lives and trust each other with the deep stuff, with the, with the hard stuff. We gotta have a brothers uh, 
doing this with us. And you KOZ guys, man, you're experiencing stuff that other people may not have no idea what you're experiencing, but your KOZ brothers do. So y'all stay tight. We love you. God bless you. And regulators, man up.